what what seems like months ago now, because it was months ago, um, uh, before the um, High Holy Days, um, I we talked a little bit about Elohim Neshama and um, this the, the next prayer that comes, and the the rabbis make this connection between Elo uh, between the word Neshama, which means soul, and and um, Neshima, which means breath. And um, there is this idea that um, that our breath um, is a reminder of, uh, of our soul. Um, and that also that when we are breathing, we are our soul is in communication with the universe. We are breathing out and in uh, and filling ourselves with soulfulness and breathing some of ourselves out into the world. Um, uh, and um, and it's a reminder for me that sometimes, um, uh, that the, the, the reason that, the, that services start, worship starts with this prayer is that like our breath uh, is, is, we have to root ourselves in our breath and, 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 and our, that has to be enough to, um, it's, and sometimes that's all we can muster for all of our prayer is just breathing. And that is also a prayer because that is also an expression of our souls. And I think so much in these last months and months and months of quarantining and protecting each other and being very aware of the fact that um, that dialectic between our breath and the world can also be a great danger in this time um, has been challenging. And one of the challenges is reminding ourselves that we are enough and that what we, what we have to offer is enough and that whatever we have to offer in this service and in this day and in this week and in this year is, is enough. And trying to use this moment of breath and breathing to remind ourselves that we are enough is, for me at least, a powerful expression. And so I, um, and I compose this chant um, to to try and remind myself of that. And I want to. I taught it uh, before the High Holy Days, and I want to um, just teach it one more time to you. I'm going to share my screen so that the words, not that they are complicated, are up on the screen. So it goes like this, but first maybe we just breathe for a second. We're doing the best we can with what we've got, which doesn't feel like much, but it is enough. We're doing the best we can with all we are, which is a lot and will be enough. We're doing the best we can with what we've got, which doesn't feel like much, but is enough. We're doing the best we can with all we are, which is a lot and will be enough. And then we can do it with Elohim Shema. Elohim Shema Shena Tata Bi Tehorahi Tehorahi Elohim Shema Shena Tata Bi Tehorahi Tehorahi We're doing the best we can with what we've got, which doesn't feel like much, but is enough. We're doing the best we can with all we are, which is a lot and will be enough. We're doing the best we can with what we've got, which doesn't feel like much, but it is enough. We're doing the best we can with all we are, which is a lot and will be enough. Elohim is Shema Shana Tata Bi Tehorahi Tehorahi Elohim is Shema Shana Tata Bi Tehorahi Tehorahi what I what what intrigues me about this melody, which came to me, was that um, you only have time to catch a quick breath in between the little lines. Um, it's actually a song, a melody that makes it a little hard to breathe. And um, I think I think that's on purpose. And I think that the purpose is that like sometimes we are just catching our breath, and sometimes that's enough too. And if this service this morning can be an opportunity to catch our breath, that will be enough. Hello, hi, Nishma, Shana, Tata, Bi, Tehorahi, Tehorahi. Hello, hi, Nishma, Shana, Tata, Bi, 
Tehorahi, Tehorahi, we're doing the best we can with what we've got, which doesn't feel like much, but is enough. We're doing the best we can with all we are, which is a lot and will be enough.